Hi, let's see how to fix the Skyrim downgrade patcher not working. Are you struggling to get your Skyrim downgrade patchers to work correctly? This to this handy tool essential to the players who wish to roll back their game version to maintain the mod compatibility for or for the other reasons can sometimes be the source of frustration when it doesn't function as intended. So let's see how to fix the Skyrim downgrade patcher not working. The first method is check the file structure for the Skyrim. Make sure that the file structure of your Skyrim installation is correct. The, the downgrade patcher release on the specific file structure to function properly. Misplaced or the missing files can prevent the patcher from working. So go to this particular path. Go to this Skyrim installation directory and go to this particular path. Ensure the folders like the data, interference, string, video, and the Skyrim.exe files are correctly paced. The second method is locate the Skyrim.exe file. Downgrade the patcher needs to the locate the Skyrim.exe file to work. Open the installation directory. Find the Skyrim.exe file. And if you're using the patcher, navigate to the select uh, Skyrim exe when it's prompted. If the file is missing, verify the game files through the Steam to restore it. The third method is check the contacting process. Ensure that no other processes are interfering with the patcher operation. This could include the other applications that access or modify the game files simultaneously. Close any unnecessary programs before running the patcher, especially those that might lock files the patcher needs to access. The fourth method is use the correct version of the patcher. There might be a different versions of the patcher for the different versions of the Skyrim.sc. Make sure using the correct version of the patcher for the version of the game you are trying to down, downgrade to. Open the task manager, look for any to close any application that might be interact with the Skyrim files, ensure that the no mod managers or the related software are running. The fifth method is ensure the correct patcher user. It's crucial to follow the instructions provided with the Skyrim downgrade patchers meticulously. Incorrect usage can lead to the it for not functioning properly. Read the patcher documentation or the read, read me file thoroughly. Follow the step by step instructions provided. Double check that all the required files are in correct locations before proceeding. The sixth method is manually replace the files. If the automatic patching fails, process fails, you might need to manually replace the certain game files with the versions from the version you are downgrading to. This is the advanced step and, uh, and should not and should be done with the caution ensuring you have a backup of all the files before making the changes. Backup your current Skyrim game files of Obtain the specific version files for the version you are downloading to. Copy and replace the files in the Skyrim directory with this older version of the files. Check for the mod conflicts. The seventh method is check for the mod conflicts. If you have a mods installed, there might be a conflict between them and the downgrade patcher. Consider disabling the mods to see if that allows the patcher to run. Open the mod manager, disable all the mods. Try running the patcher again to see if the problem persists. If successful, re-enable the mods one by one to identify the conflicting mod. The eighth method is run the downgrade patcher administrator. Sometimes the patcher may require the administrative privileges to make the changes to the game. Right click on the patcher executable run as administrator. The ninth method is disable the antivirus software temporarily. Always try to disable the firewall and the antivirus temporarily whenever you are trying to use the application because if you have not disabled the firewall on the antivirus it will not allow you to connect to the server and it will treat these kind of applications as a malicious or the spam software the tenth method is verify the skyrim game files if you are using the steam you can verify the integrity of the game files to ensure that there is no corrupted or the missing files in the Steam, right click the Skyrim Special Edition, select Properties, Local Files, verify the integrity of the game files. The 11th method is uninstall and reinstall the Skyrim Special Edition. Okay, some of the simple steps, what you can do is like you can just uninstall the application and then again you can reinstall it 
by downloading from where you have downloaded previously before reinstalling try to restart the system okay so once you have done the restart you can just reinstall the application the 12th method is contact the biggest customer support team if you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you're still facing the problem you can contact the Bethesda customer support team for further assistance they have the expertise they will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution okay so that's all about this thank you